Their aerial platform just collapsed. Wave 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield joins us now live from the KFC Yum Center in downtown Louisville. And Cedra, a lot of people out there have some concerns tonight. Yeah, even as they pack into the Yum Center, safety is still top of mind for many parents after last week's accident in Rhode Island sent performers to the hospital. So we went searching for answers, trying to find out what's being done to ensure this time around neither the performers or the circus goers get hurt. And what we found might just surprise you. From the clowns to the elephants, a trip to the circus is all about excitement, laughter, and family fun. But in Rhode Island, this lighthearted affair turned horrific in a matter of seconds. An aerial platform collapsed mid-routine. The house lights quickly dimmed on the May 4th performance as emergency crews scrambled to help nine injured acrobats. Providence families all the while shocked in their seats, horrified at what they just seen. While closer to home, event safety inspections are often the responsibility of the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, the circus and its animals are off limits. Normally in a circus situation, it's the performers that are putting themselves at risk. It's not the general public, so that does not fall under what we're required or responsible for inspecting. There's times where circuses allow children to ride camels or elephants or whatever that is, and that is exempt from the department by regulation. Instead, safety checks fall on the shoulders of the circus itself. So every single week we are tearing down the equipment, we're putting it back up, and we're checking the equipment as it goes up into the air and everything in our surroundings. In addition to the up and down checks from the load in and load out, we also check it daily, like visual checks between shows and just before we begin a show. Host Ashley Vargas says the circus tours three different units and that the group in Louisville is not the unit involved in the May 4th accident. She says that act has been taken out. Safety measures, on the other hand, beefed up and regulated by the USDA. And this year, after the accident, what they did is they replaced, as a, as a precaution, all the carabiners in, in the act, or in, in the show, rather. They replaced all the carabiners in, in the, the grid. Extra steps aimed at keeping everyone safe, allowing families to walk away from the experience, nothing other than entertained. Tonight's show officially gets underway at 7 o'clock. The circus will be in town through Sunday, and circus staff tell me they'll do everything in their power to ensure that everyone remains safe. Live from the Yum Center, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News.